Okay, it's your boy Pillar. Uh, coming to you to say happy Indigenous Day. And we're going to give a lesson today about why you as uh, so-called black people should be celebrating Indigenous Day, right? And so here are some books that you can get to get your research on. The first one is The First Americans for Africans by Dr. David Imhotep. They came before Columbus, Dr. Ivory Van Sertoma. Ramses, the third father of ancient America by R.A. Gerard Boy. Michael Bradley, Don Boyce, the Black African Discovery of America. Introduction by Dr. John Henry Clark. And the updated edition, The First Americans Were Africans, expanded revised by Dr. David Imhotep, right? So those are going to teach you about uh, the African presence in America before anybody, so-called Indians, uh, Europeans, Columbus, and all that, right? And then what you do, because it's just history, but history and law can never be disconnected, as uh, the great Taj Tariq Bay would say. And so then you go get a book like this called The Resurgent Edition, Truth About Your Birthrights, Noble Jew Ali, Editor of 1920, Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Declaration of Rights of Child, of the Child, 1959, and Rights of Indigenous People, Part 1 and Part 2, 1994. Now, indigenous means first, first people, right? And so, what we would do is, go to, bear with me. Okay, you see what here it says? Let's get you over here. Yes, can you see it? It says, <laughs> Declaration, right here, we're right here. It says, Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. The following are six articles of Part 1 enforced by the Federal Constitutional Law, International Law. So first we got to realize, if humanity started in Africa, that means African people are definitely indigenous. So can you you can't tell me no person in America is indigenous for you should identify as an African person as a indigenous person, even if you think you came on a slave ship from Africa, right? And so then it says, uh, let's read our constitution. Well, the constitution is so important because we created it. It says Article uh, Six, the U.S. Constitution and Executive Order One Three One Zero Seven, the Implementation of Human Rights Treaties, the Senators and Representatives of Members of the Several state legislatives, legislatives and judges and all executive and judicial officers, both of the United States and the federal and the several states shall be bound by oath or affirmation to support this constitution and all treaties made under the authority of the constitution, article six of the constitution enforces treaties. Okay. So now we go down to where it says the rights of indigenous people. So this is also saying the rights of black folks, the rights of African folks, the rights of Moors, the rights of Hebrews, because because you because you are indigenous, right? And so it will go down to this is what I want to show you really why I'm showing you this because most because this is where the confusion comes in, and so this is the rights of indigenous people, and then we'll go to Article Five, in the rights of indigenous people, and it says every indigenous individual has a right to a nationality. Article Five says every individual has a right to a nationality, and so. Why would it say that? Because most of the time as black people, we always just talk what? Race. Black is a race. But why does it say everyone has, every indigenous individual has the right to the nationality? What's so important about somebody having a right to a nationality? Right? And so that's what you got to think about, right? So this said indigenous, right? And then here I am showing you books. Of you being indigenous and so if you uh, only are studying the constitution from a slave mentality you will never know your rights and you will never really know who you are and so that's just my little quick take to show you that um you're getting fucked in the game right and that's why uh some of us try to wake you up and tell you that uh we are the rich people of the planet and even when it comes to more you don't have to you know study yourself more than anything and so this is your boy Pillar. Happy Indigenous Day, as you can see. Look, look, they know it already who the people are. 
And so what is your nationality so you can enforce your indigenous rights? Right now, you're just enforcing civil rights, which means you believe that we all came here on a slave ship, but I don't know, man. What do you think? So that's your boy Pella, you know, on, on Happy Indigenous Day. You know what I'm saying? Another day that we should be celebrating. Uh, make sure you proclaim your nationality. It's not that deep, all right? And uh, do at least do it for the children, all right? So I'll talk to you later. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. The first Mayan drone. It's like, it's like, what's up with you ourselves? So just get, get it together, all right? And uh, holler if you got any questions, all right? Peace.